why Workflowy? So I've tried Simple Note, Evernote, OneNote, Apple Notes, Bear Notes, and more. In some cases, you'll outlive those companies. Evernote completely changed its format, and I lost some notes over the process of trying to convert it. Other apps make it impossibly hard to get your notes back out. PDF export only? No thanks. Which is why, to endure over the long term, it will endure. A notes app's data must be easy to export and in a universal file format. The format that I prefer? Plain text. It's the easiest to convert to other formats and has no dependencies. At the end of the day, HTML, Markdown, and JSON are just plain text. Yeah, what of the plain text? So that brings us back to Workflowy. Let's jump in and see how easy it is to get your data out. Just click on More, Export All, and then click Plain Text, and then click to download. Organizing in Workflowy. Keep it simple. Keith, focus. Keep it simple. The nice thing about Workflowy is it's as flexible as you want it to be. So start out simple and then add on as you find different ways to organize your information. I use Rocket for Mac, links in the description below by the way, to add emojis quickly to my bullet items. So for instance, if I want to create a new item here, I could type in notebook, press enter, and then say notes. And now I have something that kind of gives me a way to organize and visualize what I'm looking at. So this is my main screen. Now there are two ways you could organize this. You could use bullet points and have everything listed in categories on the main view as shown here. This is my favorite because like at a glance I can see quickly what I'm looking at. You can also organize it like a dashboard in columns. So either expanded like this or you can click into the view by clicking on this bullet here to keep yourself organized and focused. Now each of these bullets could be separate bullets. So for instance, if I click into miscellaneous here, then I can go in and add in, you know, additional information that's unique, or they could be mirrors. And so what mirror does is it copies everything from that bullet into another bullet in real time. So for instance, if I wanted to go here on this menu for today and choose mirror, and then put that under focus here, I can press command V on my keyboard, paste it in and see how the bullet here turns into a diamond. That means anything I type in today. So if I collapse this dashboard view and go in here, anything I type into today will then get mirrored and automatically updated under focus too. So if I click into today here under focus, it's the exact same one in both places. So let's jump into daily planning. So here's an example of how you could organize your day. Every bullet in Workflowy can be organized like either a bullet, a to-do, or a board. Um, the task for today here I have set up as a board. So a backlog, here's the items I want to do today. In progress, these are the items that I'm working on now that aren't done. And then you can click here and drag it over and do it like Kanban style into the done column. The other thing I like to do is remind myself what did I do today and have a bullet journal. Have you been keeping up with your journal? So I'll write down, you know, today I did a thing, maybe even yesterday I did another thing, or last week I went to a park. Some of those experiences that you have throughout the week, and this can be structured however you want. I usually do it per day, and then that gives me a good grasp of like, okay, here's what I accomplished at work and at home today. And then I can compare that or see what needs to be done the next day and just kind of move it down my list. Let's go back to home. You might also have a section like best practices. This is where I keep things such as tech and computer setup goals about my finances, which I can then mirror to the goals section, self-care routine items that I'd like to keep track of, things that I like to do with travel, travel hacks, and workflow tips and information that I've picked up along the way. The nice thing about that is that gives you a way to create like a user guide. For me, Workflowy is like a second brain. You are standing in my brain. It's where I can keep my personal information, my work information, and every little piece of information that I want to keep track of. Be sure to check out my other videos on how to organize the to-do list and also a video on how to format your notes within Workflowy. For more productivity advice and tech tips, be sure to follow Tech Bacon on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. And if there's something you want more information about or you just want to say hey, leave a comment below. All right, and I'll see you on the next one.